Hey boys and girls, and welcome to Destiny Kids. We are so excited to have loads of fun with you today, so make sure you stay tuned. Do you want to know something totally crazy and extremely wacky? If so, keep on watching. Hey boys and girls, it's me, Bree, here with another wacky fact of the day. Did you know that babies can laugh up to 300 times a day? Oh, that would make my belly hurt. How many times a day do you laugh? And what does it sound like? <laughs> Whatever your laugh sounds like, make sure you embrace it, own it. It's your laugh. So try to laugh up to, I don't know, let's say 300 times a day. We'll see you next time. It's time for crafts. Today on Crazy Crafts Destiny Kids, we are going to be jumping right in, making some rock candy, which is a really, really cool science experiment. I know I'm ready, I hope you are too. Let's dive in and make some candy. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is get five cake pop sticks. They kind of look something like this. And you're gonna dip them in water and then just coat them in sugar just like this. What this does is this helps the sugar attach to the sticks that way all your crystals for your rock candy can grow. It's actually really cool. Once you have all of your five sticks covered in your water and sugar, you're just gonna want it to put it aside so it can dry so when you get ready at the end, you're all good to go. After you have that set aside, you're gonna wanna pour two cups into your pot right here on top of your stove. Just two cups of water and then get that boiling. So the next thing you're gonna wanna do, once you have your water boiling, which is all the bubbles going on, once you have that, then we're ready to start adding our sugar. But you can only do one cup at a time until it's fully dissolved, and then you keep adding again until you have six cups of sugar in your water for your rock candy. So let's get started. Once you have all six cups of sugar in your water and you have it boiled down, it'll look something like a thick syrup and that's exactly where you wanna have it at. It's where the magic starts to happen. So once you have that, you're just gonna to wanna to turn off your burner and then we're gonna go ahead and start on our colors. So I have five canisters here and what we're gonna do is we are going to have four colors and then we're gonna do one that's just like the natural color of sugar, so just Clear. So you're gonna take, we're gonna do the first one, it's like a purple, and we'll drop in there. One drop is good enough. This is like a blue green. We're gonna leave this one open, and then here's like a pink magenta. 
And then we'll do our last one in orange. Once you have all of your colors in there, the next thing you're gonna wanna do is pour your sugar syrup in these jars. Make sure that you have your parent or an adult do this for you because it can be pretty hot and sticky and messy. So now that we have all of that, it is time to go ahead and do our last step before we start seeing results. So if you remember correctly, we used these sticks that we did in the beginning, we dipped them in water, we coated them in sugar, and we are about to go ahead and put them in our colored sugar to start watching our crystals grow. So you're gonna wanna grab one of your cake pops with your dried sugar on it and a clothespin. You can do any, any color, any size you want. And you're gonna grab the tip of it like this And you're gonna drop it down in your syrup and let it stand just like that. And you're gonna do these on every single one. Once you have all of this finished, you're going to wanna to put these aside in a dark room and put a paper towel over them and have them wait for three to five days until you get to eat your candy. So let's wait three to five days. Three to five days is finally over. If you're anything like me, I know that you've probably been peeking on them every day. You've probably been checking the status of all of your rock candies and you are ready to have your rock candy totally unveiled right now. Let's break into our candy. <sighs> our rock candy, it looks good. Let it just dry for probably 30 to 40 minutes, and then you get a whole rock candy snack. I love sugar. 100% sugar. You can only get it here. Let's go. On today's Bible lesson, we are going to be learning about something that is so cool, so special, and one of the most important things that you and I could know as being a Christian, and that is our salvation. What does it mean to be saved? What does it mean to believe in Jesus or to be a Christian? I want to show you what that means for you. What happens is as we go through life, we come across this thing called sin. Sin is icky and gross and just it just doesn't belong in our life. And that can look like unforgiveness, that can look like anger, that can get uh, that can look like yelling at your sister, uh, get out of my room. That could look like all of these things that are just not nice. And those things can kind of mess up our clear life. And what that does is it makes it not clear. And it messes that up a little bit. And the thing about that is, is that that is sin. That is how it works in your life. Sin can come in like little tiny drops and it can flood your whole life and make it to where your whole life is now not clear. But the good thing that I've come to tell you today is that through believing in your heart and confessing with your mouth that you are saved and that you believe in Jesus, that's how you become saved. And it says in one of my favorite scriptures, 1 John 1, 7, that as he is in the light, we are in the light, we're hanging out together, we're in fellowship, and we are cleansed by the blood of Jesus Christ. I wanna show you what Jesus does whenever our life is full of sin, what his blood can do in our life, how it can wash it clear as snow, and 
white as snow. And that is exactly what the blood of Jesus does to our life. If sin comes in, makes our clear life muddy, but His blood comes in and washes it clean again. And boys and girls, wherever you are, I want you to stop and freeze. And I want you to think, man, am I a Christian? Do I have faith on the inside of me? Do I believe in Jesus? And if you do, I just want you to repeat a really cool prayer after me, and I want you to believe it. That way we can be saved. I want you to say, Jesus, I ask you to come into my heart. I believe that you died for me, and I thank you for saving me. I ask you to forgive me from all my sin, and I promise to serve you and follow you all the days of my life. In Jesus' name, amen. You are saved. It was so simple, so easy, and I am so excited that me and you are Christians together. Hey guys, we are about to jump into freeze dance. So what that means is every single time the music stops, you're gonna wanna stop. Every time the music's on, you wanna wiggle and dance and move. Now, if you don't freeze when the music stops, you're totally out. So make sure that you pay attention and let's go ahead and jump right in to freeze dance. Are you ready for game time? Hey boys and girls, it is game time right here on Destiny Kids. And what we will be doing today is playing Baby Rattle. So what you're gonna need for this game is four empty two liters, four boxes of gumballs, and duct tape. The object of this game is to get as many gumballs from this bottom of the two liter to the top of the two liter by shaking it and baby rattling it. Okay, so we're about to jump in to baby rattle.
guys, it is game time right here on Destiny Kids, and we are about to jump into a really, really fun game. Could get kind of violent a little bit, but it's called Mad Dog. Mad Dog! <laughs> and what you need for this really cool game is you need a paint stick, and then you're going to need two things of Tic Tacs. And what I did is I just painted the paint stick blue and I put on two of these Tic Tacs on the ends with just Gorilla Glue and you can do the same thing. But the object of the game is to hold this in your mouth, put your hands behind your back, stand in one spot and go to town and try to get all of these Tic Tacs out of their boxes with only moving your head. And you only have 60 seconds. So I think we should try to be a mad dog. Let's go. It's Mad Dog style, we're out. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell. And remember, even though you are small, you are still powerful. We'll see you next time on Destiny Kids.